Hey everybody, Captain Jack here from the Minecrafters, back with episode 7 of Let's Build a Nuclear Power Plant. In this episode, uh, hopefully I'll be a lot more on top of my game than I was in the last episode. And we're going to make some, uh, we're going to do some restructuring here. We're going to try to optimize the power because in the last episode we found that the recyclers um, took up way too much power. There was too many overclockers. Um, and yeah, we're going to streamline things a little bit. So... We're going to make some changes in here. Um, I just went ahead and I did this already. I reduced the amount um, that these are going to watch for in the system because with 64 in each one, it's watching for um, greater than 64. The export buses are going to put out too much um, if that's not satisfied, and it's going to cause a huge excess, just like you see here. So I've dramatically lowered that to... Uh, what it was before. I think we were at 256 or something like that. Um, so that was a little bit crazy. We're actually going to get double of everything we put in here. So well, we are still going to get uh, probably maybe a little bit too much. So I'm actually going to go even lower than that. We'll go 44s. Okay. Tin's only at 20. That That's fine. Not a big deal. I lowered uh, coal down to 10. What's uh, this at? That's just exporting automatically. Don't need an export bus for that. Uh, 44 here. That should be fine. Let me go a little bit less. 34. 34. All right, the first thing we're going to do, um, just so I can monitor the power a little bit better, is I'm actually going to remove these MFSUs. So let me grab another one here. And I want to be able to actually see how much power is coming in and out of the system here. So let me get a wrench. And I've done a lot of messing around on single player here. And I'm pretty sure that I can get, uh, I, have a, I have a plan here. Let me go around. I have a plan. I'm gonna remove this, that, that, that. Um, we're gonna get some cabling. There we go. Okay. So if I do that, that's going to allow me to monitor very accurately how much power I'm draining and how much power I'm making. So we're just going to do one, MFS, one MFSU there. Um, I'm going to make some changes here because the overclocker situation is too much. There's no way that's practical, so we're going to blow that out. I'm actually going to blow these out too. And we're going to go with powered furnaces, which are faster on their own. Let's see, and put these here. Um, let's change these. This will do it a little bit slower, but I will save on energy for sure. Okay, let's put that there. Won't need to change any of the settings because they, they're all straightened out. Um, what I will need to do is wire this in, and I grabbed some of this already. And we're going to need to get rid of these because we will no longer need IC2 power. Um, let's wire these babies in. Some nice redstone energy conduit. Let's come around here. Oops. Come down and connect to the redstone energy cell. And what this should do is power up these furnaces with build craft power. There we go. Those are all set. Um, that should definitely be a lot more efficient than the IC2 ones and we have none of the overclockers so when these things fire up it's not going to tax the system nearly as much. Um, what I also want to do is oh I did some experimenting with some people that said that you can put more than one thing in here which is true technically but I found that it doesn't work properly and that it only does like the first item that's in there um, unless I was doing it wrong somebody may want to comment on that but I tried combining quad cells on another world and it just wouldn't it wasn't happy with it. These only add one EU per tick anyway, um, so, or not a EU per tick, this energy here, applied energistics energy, okay, I'm going to remove these as well, 
um, because there is no need for them. Um, connect that in there. That will get me two more off the system. 57. Now the recyclers down there are not connected yet, so that's not uh, not an accurate reading. All right, so I got powered furnaces here. Now these should be working fine. I'm going to take this ridiculous amount of copper out of the system. It's all spawned in manually by UU anyway. So we're going to make this go away. We're going to make it sink below the threshold that our level emitters have set. And then I want to see how much excess that it actually makes. So I'm going to grab some more UU matter. And we'll just put that in the system. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this too. We're going to test that. That'll drain. Should make some more lapis. We'll drain the tin. Okay, and now these all should be... Right, I hear something working. This is exporting. Active without signal. Active without signal. Active without signal. Okay. Um, let's see. Plenty of UU matter. That's crafting okay. Let's see. Why are these... Oh, I'm not... Yes, I am. Let's say I'm not... Oh, you know what? Technically, I'm not connected in this system. Okay. Um, let me do this. And there we go. That should work. There we go. Okay, everything's flowing through now. It's going to move into these powered furnaces, which, which work by default, again, faster than the regular ones. It's going to get sucked out the side here, back into the system, and there we are. We're making more of that. Um, so, yeah. Again, I might lower these a little bit more, but we'll leave it as is and see what happens. Um, this should all be wired in. We have our MFSU, which is still filling up with power. And I want to redesign the scrap room because this is definitely the largest drain of power by far than the entire factory. And uh, what I've come up with, with my off-camera research, is I'm going to do a 10 recycler core down here. So let's see, one, two, we'll get rid of the first two. And this, I'm hoping, is going to work okay. So, three, five, we're going to get rid of these. Da -da -da. And I'm not sure if this is going to keep up with the actual demand that the mass fabricator is going to need as far as scrap goes. Um, but we'll start off with this as kind of a baseline and see how it goes. I'm going to remove two overclockers from each of these. Um, I did mention in some of the comments as well as some other people actually about the power drain that overclockers put on the system. Um, what they will do is increase the power cost to run them by 60 percent and that stacks that's not 60 percent on top of the default value it's 60 percent on top of 60 on top of 60 so these things will start using an absolutely enormous amount of power, and uh, we do not want that. So we're going to do six here, and we're going to see how this turns out. Let me see here. Okay. All right, now we want to get scrap in the system, and I also... Yeah, let's burn these out, because I'm going to save on some of the applied energistics cost of importing all these because I'm fairly sure that these import buses here one of which was set wrong is too big of a strain on the system let me grab this so oh my goodness okay we'll get rid of that um, let's delete these we're going to use red power two pneumatic tubes to offset the power requirements. Here we go. Let's pipe these in. I'm not really sure how this is going to work yet. 
but it will be cheaper energy wise than what I was using before. Let's do that. Let's do this. And bring it in there. Take care of this side over here. And the relays will pump directly into these pipes without um, needing to be pulled out by applied energistics. So that's where I'm kind of saving the cost because every every unit pulled out or pushed into the system by AE is going to cost me in the form of EU. What is going on here? Okay. Let's stop that. Those relays were draining. Relays were draining. Okay. Let's do that now. Let's delete these. All right, and then I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna wire this in. I'm gonna wire it in. Should probably get rid of that light there. All right, coming in. No, oh yes, okay, it just looks wrong. What it is, there we go. All right, now we need to get this into the system and we will get it into the system by perhaps doing this. Let's see here. Make that core there and then we'll run these around and down and that should start sucking cobblestone. Should being the key word. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Out of the extruders. And I shouldn't have to touch those again. So let me box this up. And there we go. That's going to load my system up with scrap. Okay. Now that's all wired in. This is. Oh, okay. For some reason, it doesn't like this. It won't pass through these these export buses. The power doesn't do that. Ugh. I be not liking this. This is going to throw off my groove here. No, because these won't work either. All right. I'm just trying to figure out what's going to look best. Because that's basically all I'm concerned about. Um, 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 um. How will we do this? I can't come across. I don't really want to join. What is that? These at the bottom. Oh. Let's just go ahead and do that. And although it might be a waste, I need it to look even. So why is this crap not emptying out? This should be exported directly into my ME system, and it's probably because of this right here. Let's do this. All this touchy business. Touchy business. Okay. Okay, Captain. Oh, that's why, because that didn't go around. Are you kidding me? Can this please empty into the system? Why Why is this not... <laughs> okay, okay. Let me do that, and then pretend that the past two minutes just never happened. Okay, there we go. And let's move these, and let's remove this waste of time. And let's accept some more cobblestone. Okay, yeah. I forgot I disconnected that. The whole system doesn't work. Okay. Now that shouldn't fill up. Shouldn't fill up. Okay, we're good to go. My original intention has been uh, fulfilled. Okay, so scraps pouring to the system. 
Now all we need is power. And I am going to try to leave these because again, according to studies, I think I can maintain this extreme level of power. Okay. Now we're going to take cobblestone stacks. Okay, that's going to fill up there. And I do know this takes more energy than red power 2, which I could wire red power 2 in. I just have to figure out a way to do it without using a relay. This should be fine for now, though. Stacks. Oh, this side's okay. There we go. These things are humming away, using a ton of power. Let's see how I'm doing on power, both MFSU and AE. We're at about 107, 100. So we've jumped up significantly. Um, three, seven, three, oh. Four. Okay, so we're still maintaining, we're still maintaining power. Um, that gave us that gave us 300 copper bars, which is still a little bit excessive. So let me tweak that down. We're gonna subtract 10 from the system. I'm re I'm really not sure if, if that can actually do anything or not because these injectors will just inject too quickly. Um, and tin. Let's check tin 85. Just just too much. Um, I just want these to run as little as possible. Let's remove at least half the overclocker upgrades from that, from this. Um, this is going to happen just a little bit slower, but I have two hours and 40 minutes to do it, so there's no real rush. Why, why would this not compress? Oh, because it needs more. Um, there's less than 34. It'll emit. Okay, so that's fine. Let me delete these. Okay, so we should be making scrap. We have 576, 77. Okay, so we're making scrap at a decent pace now. Um, it looks like we're just about breaking even, which is exactly what I kind of experimented with on the test world with reactors and such. Um, so we may be able to wire this in and start actually making our own UU matter. But first, let me clean up here, clean up a little bit. I'm going to put the floor back on here because this has been really bothering me. It's just been a convenient access tunnel. And we will need to be able to get down here. So that's something we'll still have to work out. Okay, I'll leave that in the floor there. Let's let's finish off this floor. Um, but ba ba We have white, yeah, let's get some white lamps, black lamps, cyan. Um, we'll go stick to the building code, and that's marble for a floor. And we'll just let that produce scrap for a while. I might, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything from the system that I've ever spawned in with UU Matter. I'm going to leave the breeder full. And then I'm going to power up everything from scratch. And we'll see if it can keep up with itself. It's making, or that, um, this setup here with the scrap boxes inside of the mass fabricator should make me one UU matter about every four seconds, which is um, somewhere in the mid 500s range per cycle of UU matter, which is more than I need to make the components of the reactor, meaning um, all the cells and such and so on and so forth, but possibly not enough to keep them cool with lapis. So that's going to be the, the major uh, monkey wrench in this whole business is if that lapis is absorbing too much UU matter so I won't have any extra left over. That will be the determining factor. But as soon as I fix some of this stuff up and get it actually looking better, I'm going to change, get that reactor set up. 
Here we go. I did play around with um, also some more breeder designs, and what I can possibly do is, if I can't make enough scrap, because I definitely need to maintain at least 500 scrap, or 500 UU each cycle, if I can't do that, I might upgrade the breeder reactor. And I can make it so that instead of 240, with the addition of one extra quad cell, which is basically the equivalent, equivalent of uh, one single piece of uranium, I can get it up to 480 EU per tick. Now that's also going to cost me as far as cooling goes, but uh, that is an option. It's on the table. Um, this room is a little bit big. I might tighten it up later on. But let's cover this because I'm pretty sure we're good over here as far as this business is concerned. Do some uh, aesthetic cleaning, clean up. Oh, I do want to um, also use the uh, the remote thermal monitor. Oh, half an hour left in the breeder. Well, I want to use the remote thermal monitor to turn that thing on and off. Let's do this. That's Okay, we do have some restriction here. Do that. That. All right. That'll have to be like that. Okay. Somebody suggested a glass dome for this, and uh, that's fine by me. We can definitely do that. We can definitely do that. We want to make sure that this room is tightened up, okay? My original intention was to be able to look down inside of there, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. We're not going to be able to do that. So, scrap that idea. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's see, we'll do one more layer around. And this is way too much. Uh, way too much basalt. Actually, what might look good is some sort of pattern here. White, black, white. Possibly. Let's see how this will look. Um, also, I just want to mention I might be waiting a little bit longer to record these videos because your input is valuable and several people have made some suggestions as to um, uh, the color scheme was actually one of them. Color scheme, design, use, um, some people suggested to remove some overclockers which immediately after recording that episode I basically knew I had to do that based on the epic power requirements of them but um yeah if you're watching this series make sure again I know I keep saying this but make sure you check out the record date and the time that the comments have been posted and also make sure that if there are future versions or future episodes of this series already out that you try to withhold your comments until the or what am I saying here Try to post your comments on the latest episode, is what I'm saying. Because something that you may have suggested, or one of your ideas that you may have wanted to use, could already um, have been implemented, or might not be implemented, but safe it's a safe bet to just wait and hold off until you've seen the full series and comment on the last episode, or one of the last episodes, which I'm not sure what that will be. 
people do keep commenting here and there about stuff that either I missed or just, you know, stuff here and there. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. I still would like a change of color up here. Um, so, unfortunately, I am going to totally wipe this out because you see how there's two black in the bottom. It goes too high here. I want to get some sort of change on top. And I'm actually going to use this. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Just to switch it up a little bit. And I think I'm going to bring this marble down the sides in some form to break up the monotony of the brick that we're seeing here. Okay. Maybe I'll do that instead. Let's bring this down. Also, if you, uh, you might want to watch me do this or you might not, just let me know in the comments for this video. If, uh, if you don't care if I do some of the aesthetic things off camera, then I might go ahead and, and do that. So for some people, they don't want to see building stuff. People generally know how to build things. But if this is something that you can live without seeing, please let me know, and I'd be happy to do some of this stuff off camera and take care of you know, more of the mechanics and the machines of the factory on camera. Let's get some glass. Some nice glass. Put that there. Actually. Um, no, let's not do that. Let's just make it flat for now. I usually change things about a hundred times, so apologize if I break stuff and put stuff back a zillion times. Alright, that breaks it up just a little bit. Um this is a room up here, so I want to keep this the same throughout. Actually, I might open this back up to the sky. Get some natural lighting in here. Everybody loves natural lighting. No reason why I can't do this. That might look pretty good. And continue. Continue this. Okay. And then I'll make some more decisions later on. Yeah, that might look good, and it comes out to a single. Yeah, okay. Somebody, act you know, A bunch of people made some comments about these igneous extruders that some of them weren't working, but I couldn't find... I mean, I, I flipped a few of them at the end of the last video, but all these are working properly. If they weren't working, you wouldn't see lava and water there. Okay. All right, so we have... Uh, we kind of have... A preliminary design that we're ready to go in the next episode we're going to turn on the breeder or not the breeder we're going to wire in and turn on the reactor and actually start making some of our uu matter um, but please let me know in the comments um, if you want to watch me build or if you do not want to watch me build and if not i will do some of the aesthetic stuff off camera again like i already said um, i am going to do this floor off camera because i want to raise it up one and you guys probably don't want to watch that um, so yeah, this has been episode 7, um, hopefully a little bit shorter, I think, maybe, possibly. Let me know in the comments if you would like anything done in the factory, if you have any other ideas to maintain efficiency. Again, my goal is to have this thing run itself entirely. The breeder is going to run the machines, the main reactor is going to fill or uh, load us up with UU matter, and I do want to have an excess outside power storage unit. I want it to fill up some MFSUs for me so I can use them for other buildings that I'll be making. Um, and that's kind of the plan. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check us out at theminecrafters.com. At uh, Facebook, we're theminecrafters.com there as well. This is Captain Jack. And as always, guys, stay poised.